folks and welcome back to Fishing with Den. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to tie up a hair rig. Now this is a basic hair rig which is designed for pleasure anglers and probably club match anglers. Obviously the dedicated specimen hunters out there will already have their own versions of these rigs but really this is as I say designed for the people that maybe don't have so much experience or maybe even no experience whatsoever in using a hair rig. So for the purposes of the demonstration, I'm going to use this size 4 hook. It's eyed and it's a lot bigger than I'd normally use. As a general pleasure angler or match angler, I'd probably be using something more like a 14 or a 12. But obviously, you wouldn't be able to see that. So hopefully, with using 8 pound Maxima and this hook, I can give you a clear description of how to tie the rig. Before I assemble the, the rig, we have to create a loop, just an overhand loop, and this is what the bait is going to go on. Small as you can really, it doesn't have to be tiny, but it does have to be neat. Tighten it up using something like a knot picker, or in that case it was a guru needle. Cut off the tag end, and take off something like 18 inches of line. That's entirely up to you, if you're only going to do a um, a method feeder rig, then you don't need anything like that length of line. Take the hook and take the line through the back of the eye, pull through, and if I just grip it to that point here, you can see now that the thing is approximately two centimeters off the, the bend of the hook. Now that tends to be where I like it, but um, some people prefer it to be further up, actually on the bend itself, rather like that. Um, personal preference, uh, some people feel that gives them a better hook hold. Personally, I'm happy enough with having two centimetres off the bottom. If you do find in use that you're having issues with uh, fish falling off or, or whatever, then by all means vary the, uh, the length of that, the hair to suit you. Grip around the, the bend and then start to make turns around the hook. I tend to like 11 because for a 14 hook that gets it right down to the, the bend. Now again put the hook, sorry, put the line through the eye and just Pull tight, as you see there, just dress the line up to the eye and that is a hair rig. As I say, that's the basic hair rig. Um, there's various variations which I'll show you in a minute, uh, but I'll also show you how this looks on a size 14 hook. You'll notice at the moment that this comes off at this point here and that could lead to, to issues. So there is a way around that, which again I'll show you if you want to use a bigger hook like this. So here's the answer to that problem. There's the loop, there's the silicon, and before you tie on the hook, thread the silicon onto the, the hook point. Nice and gentle, just feed it around, and now as you can see the silicon is sitting on the, the shank of the hook. Adjust the hook length to whatever it is you feel you need, as I say in my case about two centimeters, and the, the hook can now be tied in the usual way with the knotless knot. And there once again is the hair rig. As you can see, the addition of the silicon tube has meant that the hair now hangs straight off the, the shank of the hook. It can't come around the shank of the hook anymore because it's now held on down here. So obviously if you're using bigger hooks, consider the use of the, the silicon sleeve as you see here. And this is what the rig looks like on a size 14 hook. You can see, obviously, it's a lot, lot smaller, but the 
knot itself, because I've got 11 or 12 turns on there, comes a lot further down the shank. So you don't need one of those silicon tubes with this size of hook. Another thing to notice is that the hook eye is swept backwards. Now in terms of getting bait on the hook, what you're going to need to do is to use one of these baiting needles. This one has a barb on it, and if I just grab a couple of pieces of sweet corn, I'm just going to push it through the middle of them for now. There are other ways of um, putting this on, but I'll show you that in another video. So you can see the loop. Push the baiting needle in and then hook it on. Pull the bait in and then you use a bait stop. Now bait stops can be these um, plastic things which you can buy from the tackle shop or you can just go out pick up a piece of grass or straw and put that on. That's a little piece of straw. Just push it through the loop, pull tight and that's your bait on. And that's how simple it is. Another alternative is to use these things here. These are just pieces of very thin elastic band which I've chopped up. Really cheap, really simple to use. So that's the basic rig. Now let's show you some variations. This is my personal favourite um, version of the rig. This is using a speed stop made by various manufacturers. If you're in the UK, you can buy them in any tackle shop or if you're abroad, I'm sure you can get them on eBay. To get the bait on this one, slightly different needle. This is just a straightforward needle. And if I grab some bait, put two pieces on, just thread it on. One, two, keep the pressure on, just pull through and as you can see, it keeps the bait on very neatly. As I say, that's my favourite version. The only thing to be aware of if you're tying that knot is when you tie the, um, the speed stop on, there's a little hole in the centre there. Just make sure that you don't tie the, the, the loop too tight there. You want it to be fairly loose so that the, uh, the, the, the speed stop can move around a bit. Other variations. This one is tied to a pellet band. So if you want to use pellets, you can do that. And again, some people like to have the, the band right up against the shank of the hook. Personally, I don't, but again, make your own way on this one. Decide what works for you. And finally, um, you won't see too many of these. This is what I call my bread band or dog biscuit band. This is just a, um, I think they are for pigtails for girls. Um, your wife will probably know or your daughter. Um, put the bait in here, just a bigger piece of bait, like a big chunk of bread or something like a, an expanded uh, dog biscuit. And that works very well for holding the, the bait in. So there we are then folks. That's the basic rig, plus a few tips and variations. Hopefully you can now go out and catch a few more fish with them. Anyway, as usual, if you liked it, click the like button. If you want to subscribe, you can. And until the next time, bye for now.